shoot him there. Nah! Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was sick. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong, them boys. <laughs> Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Check out the new do. Yeah, it's 107 degrees here in central Kansas. Your boy got hot and your boy got bored. Very quickly, I want to tell you guys something so exciting. Over at duckswaterfowl.com, which have you, Ducks Waterfowl is always linked at the top of the description below. Every single video it's down there. We are dropping a ton of new product, firing up the beginning of the freaking season on August 22nd. August 22nd, August 22nd, guys, write it down. Big news, if you purchase something using code BOB on August 22nd, it will enter you to win a two-man dove hunt here at the freaking lodge full lodging, morning and evening hunts. It'll be a morning hunt. If you don't limit out, we'll go out in the evening to get you your limit, which mind you, the dove are freaking everywhere. But again, August 22nd, we're dropping new decoys, new calls coming. I'll have pro model duck and goose calls coming, new gear, new outerwear that we have never ever had. All kinds of goodies coming, guys. August 22nd, get in on this giveaway, a two-man hunt using code BOB. August 22nd, duckswaterfowl.com. Let's freaking go! Yo, hoo, hoo. what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. It is bright and early out here in the cut wheat field. Sporting the old Franke with the tube. And we have Cole Joseph on board. Trying to stay away from the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, it's 100 degrees out here and we're wearing hoodies for a reason. Uh, yeah, the mosquitoes are absolutely atrocious. Not as bad over here today. No, it's not. Yesterday, if you uh, if you watched, I believe it'll be the last video, it was the 410 only, me, G-Wagon, Cole, and Bodie. We tore them up. Uh, shot 30 with the uh, 410s only. We didn't have any 12 gauges on board. We didn't cheat. We all had four tens, and uh, if you haven't seen that, you have to go back and watch it. Uh, but here is the situation today. Like I said, cut wheat stubble with beans in it. These are freshy beans, and uh, the farmer, uh, bless his heart, thank you, David, for letting us out here. Um, this is a farmer that I goose and duck hunt on quite a bit. Uh, pretty close to the lodge. We actually, I'll show you in a minute, we drove the, the side by side all the way here from the house that's how close it is so um got a little bear area out here got the uh full body set up got one sleeping on us there you go buddy uh full bodies one mojo this mojo this is my sacred girl here she's been wired rigged together um i love it because it's like it's slow flapping and for the pigeons it looks really good the slower the wing beat on that mojo the more them pigeons eat it up, baby. Damn. Oh, but um, in other news, very quickly, we're offering uh, whitetail hunts here in central Kansas, here at the lodge. This will be our first season. Gerald and I offering full-blown deer hunting. So September muzzleloader, uh, October archery, November archery, um, and then rifle. We can, uh, we can onboard quite a few folks uh, unfortunately if you are not a kansas resident and you didn't already draw and pick the right zones uh it's gonna be too late for uh, this season um, if you're interested in next season um 2025 spring turkey or 2025 whitetail uh fill out the booking form and we will get you on the schedule way ahead of time so we can walk you through the process of how to draw and what zones to choose uh, but if you're a Kansas resident, we can onboard you ASAP and get you on a stud muffin whitetail for sure. Like I said, 2025 spring turkey hunts available, full lodging, meals, everything. Fill out the normal old booking form, sandhillflyaways.com. As well as we have a very limited waterfowl hunt availability. We have some availability in January, February for sure. Um and some availability november december but it is getting full very quickly sandhillflywis.com thank y'all let's get to smacking and racking we go first pigeon of z day is he gonna he's gonna go join up with his buddies again 
This is kind of like a pitch traffic hunt in a way. Yeah. You know? I was thinking when they were laying on this power line, though, if they go out there, they'll come back over. They should. And, you know, try They should. Them. I think that's the deal. I'm surprised they're going back that way towards the field that we hunted yesterday. Yeah. Well, single pigs just slammed in here out of nowhere. Oh, three. Get ready, get ready. One down. Get ready. We're going to go get him there. That sucked. You got him. These might come back around. That one's got some white wings. Get him. One. That's a white winger. The third one gonna come back around for number three? He might. Oh, right here. Load up, load up, load up, load up. Load up. Oh my. Big, big flock, big flock. Get ready, get ready. No way. No. Got it. Wait for this back. Wait for the back. Get him. Oh, that was awful Dang. shooting. <laughs> I got a couple. Here's one coming back. Get him. Nice shot. I didn't stick my shell in the bottom of the gun good enough, and it had the two down there after I shot. <laughs> that was a good flock. We got some. Dove, get out of here. You're really in the way, man. Uh, the first shot when I smoked the single, I bet you 75 dove got out of the field out way out in front of us. I'm excited for dove season. If you're excited for dove season, drop a comment down there. Um, if you're interested, if you would be, hypothetically right now, it's a possibility. If you would be interested in coming for like a two-day, three-day maybe, but probably a two-day dove hunt staying in the lodge, I, I'd make it really reasonable on price. Drop a comment down there and let me know. It would, uh, it'd be a lot of fun. Oh, look at that single right there. There's, there's, there's some right, there should be decoy in any, any moment. You're gonna have you got a free pass, buddy. Unless that was the flock. Surely not. Oh, he's gonna get shot. Yeah, you might as well get him. Yes, yeah, yours. Get him. Nah, yeah. <laughs> he did not go very far. <laughs> <laughs> that boy right there, he did he real did bad. Boy. That's a bad sort of dead right there. I need to get one that's walking. Okay. <sighs> pigeon season, uh, there, there is. There's not a legal season to pigeons. These are nuisance animals. Uh, there's no laws, regulations on them necessarily at all. There's no season dates. Um, but the season, I call it my season, is when the wheat is cut. And it's not right away when the, when the wheat's cut. It's a few weeks, a month after it's been cut. Uh, those juvenile, very young, young pigeons start to make their way out and, and, and hitting the cut wheat fields. But it does. It, it usually takes a month, month and a half for them to really start slamming these wheat fields. And we are definitely in that season, baby. Smash the thumbs up button for your boys out here. We're having a good time. Bodie isn't with us today. He, uh, he stayed at his grandma and grandpa's last night with his sister. Uh, so they had a cool little stay over, but he did get after it with us uh, yesterday with the 410s. He was rocking his 22 doing cleanup work for us. And that's the thing. Um, on doves, you cannot use a 22. On geese and ducks, two out front. On geese and ducks, you can't use a 22. On pigeons, you can uh, because there's no rules or regulations on them. So. Pigeon, thank goodness for them. Uh, they keep me sharp and, and entertained, and they give me something to do for you guys. Uh, during these hot days, the dog days of summer. Oh, baby, come on. Get in here. Come on, get in here. It's probably the same flock we busted into earlier. Uh, Cole's flaunting around that uh, he might uh, skip Canada the beginning of September <laughs> and come run some dove hunts with me. How cool would it be us to run in dove hunts, chilling with all y'all in the lodge, in the field? He, you could run a hunt, and I could run a hunt. Yeah. 
if we had eight guys then split them up in four if it's a big field do all eight together spread out yeah if we have 10 guys split them up in two if we only have four guys go with them both of us mm -hmm. film the video it'd be freaking fun that would be fun the fun thing about hosting dove hunts and filming and guiding is that it's easy enough to enjoy filming yeah right yeah a lot of you have seen the difference in my videos and i and i've heard you in the comments i really have over the years guiding when we get into the guide season it's stressful on a guy it is but it's my job it's how i feed my family and a lot of you have have said and and you know said the 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 apparent um the obvious i should say is that you don't have as much fun mm -hmm. in your guide videos as you did in your old videos before you guide well, well no no shit you know <laughs> yeah, it's like it's you're you're hosting a group of guys that are paying really good money to be there and you don't want to slouch you don't want to under provide you don't want to you don't want to mess up you don't want to not be on time you want to kill birds for them um Fresh where at oh baby <laughs> but that would be cool if old cole joseph over here oh yeah i'd be down that'd be fun man i haven't shot a dove in four years what yeah yeah, you got to forget about them Canada geese I know, it's hard. <laughs> early in September and do some dove, man. I could. I mean, realistically, it doesn't get that great until September 10th, 12th. So. Right. Go mid-September. Mm -hmm. Your woman would thank you. Yeah, she would. <laughs> she could come up here yeah. and chill for a few days at oh, a time. Man. That'd be fun. Yeah, she'd be happy with Beth. You hear him squeaking? <laughs> Honk daddies. Oh, flipping. They are babies. They are some scratchy voiced Ooh. honkers. Oh, the season's coming, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Probably should. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, helicopter move. Nice shooter, McGavin. Well, thank you. Almost <laughs> he said, <laughs> might have to take you tall. <laughs> want to try him? Yeah. You know that word, want to, yeah. that little phrase, want to try him. <laughs> they are definitely not in the decoys. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make it super obvious. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the white one in there. I wonder if this flock's going to do it. Should we not wait on him to shoot a single? Oh, they're oh, they're locking up. He's intriguing them. I say that, and they're just all gonna bone out on us. Wow. Let them hang. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. Come on. Get him. Nice. Dang, letting them hang work. Yeah, that was not too sweet. bad. They didn't get all the way down there, but not bad. Ooh. And they smarten up quick if these are the same ones. Yes. Yesterday we hunted and they're giving us two two tries. Uh huh. Which one, again, one like we were talking the other day. Being on that X, on that mm -hmm. point, these, this is not the feed yeah. like that was yesterday. Right. Shoot two? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Oh, I, it took everything I had to catch up to that fast, dude. Okay. Did you get another one? Yeah, I got one, too. Cool. Oh, there it goes. Fall out? Yeah, another field. I didn't see the rest of them. Dang it. Coming back. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> dove are crazy. Dude. They are. Look at this. These are all <laughs> dove. You got to make sure before you pull the trigger that they're in a dove on the mojo. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be a good dove year, I bet. Single. Skybuster? Sky yeah. Oh, 
worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my mojo quit on me again. I've been using uh, I've been using nine volts um, in this instead of the double A battery packs because, like I said earlier, it slows down the wing beat for the most part. There we go. Do some cleanup duty real quick. Oh, this looks like a good mirror. A little mature. A little bit. Pick up some of these bad boys. This is a blue check. Very young bird, I can tell. Very young. See that? Let's see if I can show you. Just real, nothing big, really small beak, small everything. You can just tell they're very young, young birds right now. But having fun, not killing a bunch. On pigeon hunts, it's just nice getting out here. You don't have to kill 50 or 100 to have a good time pigeon hunt. Uh, a handful with a buddy turns into one heck of a fun morning. See, see how their beaks curved like that? Just really small, curved, dainty. That is a young pigeon. They are really dumb when they're that young. Oh jeez. Ooh, wow, nasty. Get him there. Oh, how did he get out of there? There's a three pack behind us. Yeah, that's a lucky dude right there. He was in the hole. We shot at the exact same time. It happens. Fiddle D D, gosh darn. These dove are just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Making me really want to run some dove hunts for some folks. Shoot them there. Nah! Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was sick. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong, them boys. <laughs> oh, shoot them. Get them. Ooh, headshot. I love this old Franke, man. That's my favorite gun in the world. It's doing good. It's awesome. I love it. I'm about to... I'll probably take the tube off for the season and just rock it because it's so reliable. Mm -hmm. Forget, you know, screw getting a new gun. I'm just going to take the old tube off of her and rock this bad girl. This was the first brand new semi-auto shotgun that I bought right after... The channel was started you know we're here well i guess not all of you but some of you long time subscribers were here for that the good old days shoot the wall yeah shoot them oh god might as well get rid of the shells and try them did you shoot him oh you didn't hit the first one called it a little late oh come back get ready shoot them there Nice. Wow, they gave us a second opportunity. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> well, look at that. We got a special bird today. I did not film it. He came in out of nowhere. We got a Eurasian collared dove. Now, a lot of you here are educated. Uh, some of you may not be, and that's okay. That's, that's why I'm here. Um, in my state, I'm not gonna talk about your state, but I know Kansas, Texas, look at your laws. Um, Eurasian collared dove. We have dove everywhere. Um, they are bigger. They're a lot. They're creamy colored. They're white, you know, looking. They look like they're white in flight. They have big white tail feathers and they got a collar around their entire neck like you can see. They are in fact invasive just like pigeons. There are no season on them. There's really no rules. Uh, same thing as pigeons. No season dates, no limits. And they are a little bigger than a morning dove and taste about the same. That's gonna be a good little lunch snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool, man. I haven't shot a uh, Eurasian in a long time. I'm usually a little too 
a little too shy to pull a trigger on them just because I don't want to make a mistake. But when they are really large and white, creamy colored like that guy, it's very apparent that they're in fact not a morning dove. Morning dove, much smaller, darker in color. Uh, do your research before you just go out and start jacking on the Eurasian dove. Make sure that make sure your birds are what you think they are before you squeeze that trigger for sure. Son of a gun. Must have seen his buddies over there. Oh get it. We suck again. Oh <sighs> we really just suck, you know what? Well, <laughs> We're enjoying our peace and time yeah, out here. It is nice. Oh, geez. Come on. We gotta get Cole Joseph a Eurasian. That was another Eurasian dove. Yeah. He's right in your grill. You should have. Don't ask no, me. I Just do it. too far left. I didn't want to shoot in front of you. Oh. Yeah, I bet it's been. And I wanted to double check too. Right. It, see? You kind of hesitate. Yeah. You're like. Am I right? Am I am I am I thinking clearly here? But see how long their tails are? Yeah. I mean they're freaking yeah. look like a pintail sprig. Uh they're like the size between a pigeon and a morning dove. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you it's been uh man, I bet it's been three or four years ish maybe since I've shot a Eurasian dove. Long time. Is he on? If he's on your side, get him all back up. Get him. Get him. Nice. Oh, he, was, he was moving left, right, left, <laughs> right. I was like, ah! <laughs> that one's banded. Oh, shoot. Look, that one's banded. I've seen it. I wish. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> if it is. It is, a, it is a darker one. It's a big bird. No, nope, definitely feral as they come. It. But it's an older, it's a big bird. Well, most, you know, banded pigeons, if they're a homer, which they should be a homer, homers are huge. They're a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. Wings are huge. Body's a lot bigger. But their wings are huge because they're racers, you know. They're faster. Yeah, they're huge. They, I mean, the, when you put them side by side, a homer and a feral, there's a massive Maybe. difference. Really? You know? Yeah. And a lot of times, those... uh. The banded ones come by themselves. They don't really come in a flock of ferals. Dang. So, it's oh, crazy how that works though. Yeah. Do you ever shoot, like, uh, are the ones that don't race, are they just feral ones they capture? Or what? Like, people that have them at their house. Yeah, you know, they might just be, you know, plastic leg band, oh, okay. clip bands, feral birds, kind of like my situation at home. So the the real racers have a different band yeah it'll okay. say like au with a number gotcha um, a lot of our a lot of the sanction the racing sanction is au, AU. it's an okay. au american uh, i don't know what that is actually yeah. i don't know what it stands for but au uh, bands all righty we are picked up it is 8 30. it's been pretty slow for about the last 30 40 minutes um, seems like the pigeon hunts, they fire up at about 6.40 in the morning and they run hot to about 7.30, you know, you, 7.30, 7.45. You only truly get about an hour, hour and a half at most right now on the good, good old pigeon hunts. Did you count these? I did. All right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Plus my good old Eurasian collared dove. See how long that tail is? Big bird. It's literally the same size as a pigeon. Look at that. Same size. Actually, that one's almost bigger than that bird. All these birds, uh, blue checks, blue bars. That's probably the most adult one we have, and it is still pretty young. All these birds are juvenile birds for sure. That's what I seen yesterday on yesterday's uh, 410 pigeon hunt. Very, very young, vulnerable birds hitting these wheat fields for the first time in their life. Yeah, kind of, kind of sad story, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful Kansas sun setting on us. 
gorgeous gorgeous if you can't tell uh, we are fired up for the season and uh, this video was actually filmed a couple weeks ago um, I didn't have all my new ducks gear on it should be in the mail any day now August 22nd can't wait I can't wait for y'all to see all the new gear uh, I can't wait for y'all to see the new decoys from ducks we have never had decoys it's a first big things happening this year uh, I have never had a pro model duck and goose Bobby guy films duck and goose call how freaking cool is that y'all are gonna love them they look amazing I can't show them to you yet but August 22nd hopefully they'll drop August 22nd if if my calls aren't available I will notify you when they are and I want you guys to to remember number one if you buy something August 22nd the day of the ducks waterfowl drop at duckswaterfowl.com it will enter you to win a two-man two to three day hunt your choice two or three days whatever you want to do dove hunt here in the lodge I don't have to go in there and show you guys the lodge all of you have seen it it's gorgeous uh gerald and i will be running uh y'all know g-wagon y'all know g-wagon gerald and i will be running the dove hunts hopefully cole uh can stop in he's gonna be going to canada shooting a lot of honkers so <sighs> the season's coming um just feeling good feeling better than ever if you don't follow me on instagram if you do follow me on instagram uh you've probably seen my story lately uh what i've been doing with my life the past four five six months yes been getting in the gym but made a lot of changes in my life really good changes uh, I don't know if I'm ready to put it out here on YouTube uh, maybe I'll make a video where I sit down and just kind of open up to you guys and talk about those changes um, and maybe influence uh, a lot of you or maybe some other guys that are struggling with some things uh, to, to, uh, to not be scared to make those changes too it's just been a great ride. I feel better than I ever have. I feel I feel like I'm a teenager again. And there's so many good choices that I made that adds up to the why I feel that good. It's amazing. It's amazing. Follow me on Instagram. You'll, you'll find out more. Stay tuned. I'll probably do a video on that. Just kind of opening up to you guys again and telling you uh, my life story here lately. Uh, but this season's going to be awesome. Um, First reason of feeling good, all these positive changes in my life, uh, but the hunting is going to be phenomenal. We got some new leases. Y'all seen uh, the uh, flooded cornhole video, uh, showing you some new ponds. Uh, we got some new ground. We're deer hunting turkey spring, pr spring turkey, guys. If you want to get select great, great dates for spring turkey here in Kansas, the, the turkey population uh, is really coming back better than ever, uh, better than we've seen it probably in the last four to five years. This year was amazing. Last year we've seen it coming. This year was just amazing. So I'm like, Gerald, we got to do it. Gerald is the turkey whisperer. Believe it or not, he is freaking amazing at guiding turkey. And if you guys come, he's going to show you probably one of the best turkey hunts that you've ever been on in your life. Uh, but you can book all that, sandhillflywoods.com. The ducks drop. Don't miss it, guys. All kinds of new gear going up on there that we're excited to show y'all. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sticking with me all these years. Uh, we're just getting started again, it feels like. Feeling good. Feeling great. Thank you guys. But until next time.